For the next video, I am going to show you how to draw three different types of Gothic arch. The position for these three arches is going to be on the same sheet. It's going to be on the same sheet as the four centered arch and the three centered, centered arch, which we have just drawn. Um, and basically, um, what we're going to move in, we're going to move in 150 millimeters and up 45 millimeters from the bottom of the sheet. So in 150 millimeters from the left hand side, up 45 millimeters to the base, the bottom left hand corner of the base of the first arch, and that is 80 millimeters in length. And the rise of that arch is going to be 50, sorry, 60 millimeters, 60 millimeters the rise and 80 millimeters base. You're going to move away then from that particular arch, the base there, 15 millimeters, and the base of the second arch second gothic arch is going to be 60 millimeters and then you're going to move away from that one at uh, 20 at uh, 28 millimeters 28 millimeters actually make it 30 millimeters so apologies 30 millimeters move away 30 millimeters and uh, you're going to make the third arch base 45 millimeters in length okay so in 150 up 45 to the first uh, arch here, the base, and it is 80 millimeters in length, and it is 60 millimeters in height. You're moving away 15 millimeters then from that, and the base of the second arch is 60 millimeters. You're going to move away 30 millimeters, and the base of the third arch is 45 millimeters. Now, the name of these particular arches are. The first one is called a dropped gothic arch, the second is called an equilateral gothic arch, and the third one is called a lancet gothic arch. So for the first one we have a rise of 60 millimeters and a base of 80 millimeters. The first thing we do is we draw in from the corners of the base to the top of the rise a triangle. Now I'm going to use a grey marker just to indicate The triangle here. So that triangle is going from the top of the rise here to the two corners of the base. Now what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to bisect these lines here. So I'm going to use a compass and I'm going to draw each side of this just beyond halfway line there okay doesn't matter just just in between the halfway point and the and the uh, three quarters uh, point I'm just swing it an arc each side one two the other side one and two now you're going to do the other side also so you're swinging an arc each side here one two, one, two. Now I'm going to just uh, put them in green marker uh, using a French curve and I'm going to draw a line through those arches or through the, the intersection of the arches of the radius I've just drawn in, the bisection arches. Now, that gives me a position here now. I'm going to mark it again um, using a red line. So this point here this point here and this point here. Now, they are the springing points for this particular uh, dropped gothic arch. Sorry, this point here now I bring across to here, swing an arc. This point here, 
again. Swing an arc. Now I'm going to, again using a French curve, I'm just going to draw that arch in, and I'm going to use a black, uh, black pen to do this. Okay, so that is the first arch, and that is referred to as a dropped Gothic arch. Okay, so the second arch I'm going to draw in is just uh, referred to as an equilateral gothic arch and this is the simplest one so I've got the base here which is 60 millimeters 60 millimeter base and I'm simply going to use each side of that base as a springing point and also the radius is the base itself and I'm simply going to swing an arc from each end of the base each end point of the base and that gives me the position for the top of the arch here okay that gives me the curves on the arch but it's based on what will be an equilateral triangle here so each of the sides are equal so that's 60 millimeters that's 60 millimeters and the base is 60 millimeters so what I'm simply going to do is, is just draw in the uh, the details here in ink. Okay, so I'm just going to draw the equilateral triangle here now in green. Okay, and I'm going to ink in the gothic arch itself. And that is referred to as an equal, equal natural gothic And it simply means that obviously it's an equilateral triangle that it's based on. So the, the two sides here of this triangle are equal to the base. Okay. Now the third Gothic arch is referred to as a lancet Gothic arch. Now in this instance we here we have the base is 45 millimeters. And the height of this arch is 50 millimeters 50 52 millimeters sorry apologies 52 millimeters is the height of the arch so I'm simply going to put in again the height of this arch in uh, a green pen okay green ink So, what I do in this instance here is I simply bisect each side of the triangle. Okay, so I swing both sides here, 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 and here. And I get my bisection lines here by, sorry, by bisecting the line here. Okay with these arcs and do likewise on the other side here I swing an arc each side here and here here and here and that establishes again the bisection line of this line here now I'm just going to go ahead there and I'm going to show the arcs um, in green and the bisection lines okay so where each of these bisection lines 
intersects the ground line here, the XY line, I get two points. So again, I'll mark these in red here. Point here, this point here. Now, what I simply do is, using both of those points as springing points, I extend the compass out until it hits this point here and bring it to the top of the triangle. Likewise, this side here, extend it out to the top of the pyramid and down. Now, I'm going to draw those uh, lines in using black ink and the um, French curve. Okay, so this particular arch is called a lancet a lancet gothic arch. Okay, so we have a drop gothic arch, an equilateral gothic arch, and a lancet gothic arch. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much.